Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Immortals of Avium on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Immortal difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in a previous video, Jack gave everybody their magic back and we then made our way towards Glaive's Gate, which is the last holdout of our troops. We then got into a massive scuffle with a bunch of Roshanians that were attacking Glaive's Gate, where unfortunately we suffered our first death in this playthrough, which absolutely sucks. After the battle was over, Sandrak arrived and he basically told us that he wants to have a meeting with Jack to discuss sorting out the wound. Now, Thaddeus has binded Sandrak to some sort of oath magic, so Sandrak cannot harm Jack. So we then headed over to Sandrak's ship. We had a chat with him, and basically he thinks that the Pentacide is angry because of Sandrak's control over the magic, and basically the Pentacide is jealous of us. So it's opening up the wound and triggering something called the Maladar, which is basically the end of the world, out of jealousy. So he's asked me to come to the Shrouded Realm with him so that we can kill the Pentacide. Now, obviously... We don't want to do that. Jack just wants to have a chat with it, but we already know that once we get there, you know, Sandrak's going to try and kill it and then all hell's going to break loose. But that's what we're doing at the moment. We are currently heading down into the Shrouded Realm in some sort of Willy Wonka elevator and we're about to uh, have a chat with the Pentasad. But yeah, let's get straight into things. This isn't the wound anymore. <coughs> it is. The wound is more than a bottomless pit, Jack. It's a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible void. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. Pulled words from pages of now empty books. That was a bit of an abrupt ending. The Shrouded Realm, Atava, the wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avian and the land above. Oh, my head, what is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the Deep Mere, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. <clears throat> now that you have left Kirk and suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. Yeah, I think I also, I think I sort of mentioned this a while ago, or I didn't spoil it, did I? The immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sends you to clean up a field with a ritual that will end your life, take your soul. Kirken's agenda needed orphans like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying. Am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior Magni, Jack. It's a sack of compost. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better garden. General, inform Grand Magnus Kirken that she may take her leave without delay. Provide her passage to wherever she wishes. It will most likely be Glade Gate. Leave, Varad. You're going to let her go? Just like that? Our vessel has reached its destination, so I have no need of her services anymore. I was only keeping her to influence our small alliance. Did you save her from the Palathon? I did. I realized my revenge would be nothing without her to suffer. You're insane. <laughs> Very probably. Oh, <All> right. <laughs> okay, we didn't even argue. Very probably. So yeah, Thaddeus left the Immortals because he didn't want to bloody sacrifice himself to uh, the uh, Shrouded Realm to make the wound, I guess, less big. Which I don't really blame him, to be honest. Uh, nobody wants to be sacrificed. 
for, especially for something that's probably not even going to help. But you will find out about the pentasad and how everything's supposed to work and the balance between magic. Because just in case you forgot, magic is pulled from the shrouded realm by the fonts and then the fonts can uh, turn it into a usable magic with the ley lines and then everybody in Lucium uses the ley lines to basically fuel their own magic. And then when the magic is used, it's supposed to be sent back to the shrouded realm. But it's not being sent back to the shrouded realm. It's bursting through the floor, creating this giant wound in the ground. And then because this wanker over here continuously keeps using magic and messing around with it, thanks to him, the wound has become massive and soon will take over the world. But for some reason, he thinks it's the Pentasad that's doing all of this. And the Pentasad hates us and is jealous of us and wants to destroy the world, which makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, the Pentasad brought me back to life twice, I think, or sent me back to Lucium. So, yeah, I don't think they're bad. I just think you're a psychopath, mate. Okay, what's this supposed to be? In my way. We'll need to work together on this. I don't want to work together. In my way. Calm down, mate. <laughs> oh, there is definitely... Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to pick it up. We might have to come back and pick this up later. There is definitely a golden chest here, but I'm assuming because we're going to speak to the Pentasad, we ain't going to be able to grab it. Maybe. I'll try and grab it, but I don't think I can. Where is it at? It's like over here somewhere, I think. Is it around here? Ah, yeah, there it is. We can get it. Oh, legendary essence. Lovely. Not gonna uh, moan about that. But yo, you got over there quick. Slow down, Sandrak. You're an old man. You might break a hip. <clears throat> you sure this is the right place? The Pentasad has known we were here since we landed. It should show itself... Any moment now. Oh, creepy. Be careful, brother. Are you sure this parley of yours is still wise? Yes, stand down. Hi, I'm Jack. I was hoping we could talk. I have this friend. He says you might have taken a liking to me, so maybe you'll hear me out. This isn't working. Sandra, chill. The Maladar is destroying our world. Uh, worlds. If he's right about you, maybe you can help us. Uh, my friend Rook, I mean. He's in a lorry, and, well, we were... Wait, stop! I bring you down, rude creature. With the Thrada Cull, I refuse you. Ah! Help me, boy! I... What the? Return to Sandrak. <laughs> Where'd you put me? What the hell? Why did you send me here? Exactly. Oh. I made him for you. What are you trying to say? Should you tell what pisses me I've off about seen this architecture before. In the Underdwell, the, the Alori, they came from the Shrouded Realm. Yeah, you're going to find out some very important information about the Alori now. This is why the Pentasad sent us here, really, so that we can uh, find out who the Alori truly are. Rook and the boys, if you forgot. Should I tell what pisses me off about Sandrak? The fact that he keeps calling it a Fradical instead of just the Binding Stone. It's a Fradical kind of relic. It's Fradical technology or something like that. So there's no need for him to call it that. He could just call it a binding stone. But you know he doesn't want to do that because Fradical sounds more mysterious and, you know, badass. Fuck you, Sandrak. Just for that, I will kill you. <laughs> oh, that portal is locked. It's quite a, a Guruk ring. There's quite a few uh, golden chests in this area. I know there's one over the other side. I don't think there's one on this side. I, there could be. Maybe I'm missing it. I don't think I am. Actually, no. Maybe there is one back there. 
Maybe there's one up on that ledge. Aha! <laughs> oh, 40k! Jesus! I recently got these off camera, so I should know where most of them are. Well, I think I was missing one, maybe. Because I try to find them all, because I don't like to resort to guides. One, because I don't like following guides. It drives me insane. And uh, two, it feels like cheating. So I just try and find every collectible I can, and then I'll look at the guide. After I've, like, exhausted all searching capabilities of my brain. <laughs> and I've become very bored. There's got to be one of those mana worms around here. Look at all this shite everywhere. Yeah, and I think there's a gold a gold chest somewhere covered in it. Ah, oh, there, there we go. Are oh, you get? Oh no, big boy is here. Big boy is here. Oh, look at that. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what? What a little shit. Oh, all oh, the damage. He jumped right on my head. That's the only thing that really have to worry worry about with this guy. Dug in. There we go. Whew. What is that? Like a bunch of bubbles. Right, where's it at? I swear there's another gold chest somewhere in this area. There you are. Ooh. Oh, I think this might be what I was using. Nope, that was not what I was using. Okay, so we are using the right one. So we'll basically be using these until the end of the game. The green, um, I should have checked. Oh, I couldn't check anyway because I didn't have any legendary essence. If we find another forge, I have to see if I can uh, craft a better uh, green sigil. But the thing is, all the good green sigils, I've not found any that are a good replacement replacement for the one I use. Is that Rook? What others? was before the Elori came to Avium? That's like, I don't even know how many thousands of years ago. Well, you're going to be learning a lot of stuff about the Elori, Jack, so you better be uh, putting your thinking cap on, buddy. Oh, let's drop down here. You know there's going to be something here. There has to be. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's just normal chests. Oh, come on. There's got to be a red chest on it. Yeah, there's a shroud fan. Where's the shroud fan at? Oh, there's definitely a red chest near that. I'm not going to bother going in there. And it might even be... Oh, no, it's not. There's got to be a chest down here somewhere, in there? Yep, there we go. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bother with any more of these. Just because they do take up a lot of time. They're not, they're not difficult. The majority of them are easy. The only ones that are challenging are the ones where you have to fight the six on a more difficult way. They are an absolute nightmare. One of them has a blue Magnus in it, and he's a prick. <laughs> Maybe I should do a few, because you do get health upgrades, but we don't really need them. Unless a blue Magnus appears and kills me again. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of baddies in this area, I already know for a fact.
good to stand underneath it because it gets all these blue arseholes to come down. Here you above me, you weirdo. Oh no! Oh man, the damage of that thing, ridiculous. Ridiculous numbers. Oh, is that a red Magnus? That better not be. No, it's not okay. Come on, reload, hurry up. There we go. That one, that one, too, too bad, was it? Right. I know there's a chest around here we need to grab. Man of essence, we're getting is crazy. Oh no! Is it this side? It might be. Is it this side? Oh no, I think it's over the other side. I mean, there might be a, a gold chest around here somewhere. But I know there's one over the other side because it's over the back, like on the flipping ledge. Hidden behind a bunch of those uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 crystals. Oh, no, there it is. Nice. Right, let me quickly spend my uh, talents. You guys used to be a threat, but not anymore. <laughs> Since I got this new weapon, and I've powered up my red magic a little bit, now you're not as threatening anymore. Buddy, I tried to shoot ya. Right, I think there's a... Uh... That can't be it. It's got to be more than that. I think there's another chest over here. So there's a portal. If you come through the portal, well, like when you've done this area, you come through that portal, I think it might be over here. Because I think it was near some purple crystals. Maybe around here? Yep, there we go. Another legendary essence. And we've got quite a few legendary things we need to upgrade at the moment, so this will all be very good for us. Obviously, we need to find a forge first. And also, I want to see if I can buy another green uh, sigil that's actually decent. Come 
Come, little ones, gather to me. Your minds are young and your fears unfounded. Our journey upward is a good thing. I guess Rook is leading the other Alori now. They've all been born in the Shrouded Realm. Because if you remember, the Alori were on Lucium, the planet, and uh, then they were pushed underground by evil people that didn't like them. The people from the past. Because they eat magic. And I guess now you'll find that makes the truth. Of humans a perfect cycle. They will draw magic upwards from the fonts, and our powers will return it. Oh, yeah, see? See, you already see already. We draw up magic with the fonts and use it, and then they eat it and send it back to the shrouded realm. But obviously they can't be eating it because they've been locked underground. What does that mean? The magic goes unchecked and then boom, it crashes through the floor, creating the wound. So aka it's humans' fault. <laughs> Ah. And that means we'd have to tell people the truth about a lorry. Do you think that they're going to listen to us? Of course they ain't. Of course they fucking ain't. Avium is beautiful. The humans are curious and creative. They will create wonders with magic that will astonish us. As long as we are there to heal the they make in their innocence. Ah, <laughs> oh, you are, you're very misunderstood, Rook. You're very misunderstood. I mean, humans are very creative. I mean, the shit that we've managed to create, well, I say me, I ain't made much, but the shit that humans have created is ridiculous. But then the destruction they've caused as well is also ridiculous. I think we need to get a few Alories on Earth. That can grow trees and heal nature. That's what we need. Yeah, this pisses me off. This ley line doesn't appear on the map. So if you're ever coming back here to do stuff, you might uh, be a little bit bit confused like as to where the hell you have to go next to get to the next area. But you can travel on this ley line when you come back. It just, for some reason, it doesn't show the ley line path on the map. Oh, hang on a minute. Definitely saw something then. I definitely saw something. Oh yeah, there's a red chest on here. This one might be one that uh, might elude you a little bit. You might be like, how the fuck do I get that chest? I'll show you. I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I'm saying that is because I was here for a good like 10 minutes. Like, how the fuck do I get to this? But there's a red chest up in that shit there. I, I know I keep saying red chest, but they're more red than gold. <laughs> The other chests that we opened, that we just opened, look more gold than the golden chests. But yeah, you'll see that there's like a red chest in there, see? Well, to get to it, all you gotta bloody do is this. See? <laughs> so flipping simple, but I spent a good 10 minutes here wondering what to do. Oh, nice! That was like a Ghost of Toshima piece of armor. Ghost of Toshima. Sorry that I keep saying Toshima. I do it because there's a T there. I know it's silent, but I do it to be annoying. And now it narrows the habit. Because somebody kept getting frustrated with me when I was doing it in my videos. It was a joke. So then I continued to do it, I think. Or was it? It might have been in the real world. I don't think it was on YouTube. It might have been one of my mates. <laughs> and I kept saying Tushima and it pissed them off. So I continued doing it. I know it's Tushima though. I'm not stupid. Much. Oh, great. And I bet they can teleport over here as well, can't they? Yeah, of course they can. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, it's two big ones. Oh! I need to try and get rid of these little ones. Oh, you 
you don't. I'm feeling very twitchy. <laughs> I don't want these dick shaped things to be behind me. I'm very worried for my ass's health. I mean, if you want to eat my mana, you can take it. I mean, that doesn't actually concern me. This poor little guy. Here. All of them. Whew. Flipping out. That was a bit rough. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, look at that. 22 of each essence. Very nice. I think it's going to be, uh, I think I sort of mentioned this boss a couple of videos back. I won't mention it again because it'll be a bit of a, you know, spoiler. But um, if what I think is about to happen, I need to hurry up and get there because it's going to take a bit, of, a bit of time to defeat this next boss. Our glory will never know rest. They will cherish us, the children of the Pentacide. Mm. That hasn't aged well. As soon as humans encountered the Alori, we started slaughtering them. Yep. But that's what humans do. That's what fucking humans do. You know, they've got something wrong with them. I don't understand it. Look how they treat animals on Earth. I mean, I don't. I love animals. God damn it. Right, I know there is a, I think there might be, I think there might be one of the uh, the six portals over here, the, the shroud fans that have the six in them, which are the six like tough enemies you need to defeat. We'll go in there so we can grab the uh, the inevitable golden chest, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight the six on camera, there's no point. Not at this, not at this point anyway, I need to upgrade a lot more, get some more legendary stuff before I do that. Right, to get to it though, uh, we're gonna be going up there, I think there's a, a, a grappling point you can get to. But instead, if you come around here, there's a very beautiful place. Look at this. Look at that. That is gorgeous, ain't it? But as you can see, it's one of the yellow portals, so you know one of the six members are in there. But we're just going to grab the chest and we're going to then skedaddle. Oh. Oh, that's a maelstrom. Those ones are the ones that have like 200 bullets. <laughs> very nice, but they do such little amounts of damage. How the flipping hell do I get out of here? I can't see shit. How do we get out? There we go, flipping up. That is horrible. <laughs> God damn, that sucks. That was a good job I didn't do that, because that would not have gone very well. Oh, yep, yeah, we're here. Right, so basically I'll explain what we're going to do now. There's going to be a boss in here, but this boss is practically immune to normal attacks. Now, you see all around the arena, you've got those giant crystals. They are going to fill up your Dominion Manor, and you're going to be able to use your uh, special ability. So uh, the only way you're going to do big damage to this boss is with those. So make sure you travel around grabbing those. The rest of the time you want to hide. I think they do summon other enemies as well. But there's like little tunnels and stuff you can hide in from the boss. But you're going to know who this boss is. It's like an extra tough version of something we've already seen.
Oh, look. Tremendous. <laughs> oh, lovely. See the tiny damage it takes. And he doesn't have that blue crystal that appears either. Oh, he does have the blue crystal. I could have sworn he didn't have the... Uh... Oh, but this is this is a uh, this is a sham. This is. Oh, but <laughs> what the fuck? You got decimated, buddy. You got decimated! What's the matter with you? You need help! I think I might actually use that ring if I remember correctly. Let's have a look. Yeah, all magic power and sigil damage. Which one was it that I replaced? Probably the life ring I should replace. There you go. Very nice. Well, that was bloody embarrassing, that was. Not for me, but for the, uh, for the Archon. <laughs> what an absolute travesty. Ooh. There we go. We'll grab one of these. Nice. Oh, well. Oh, I better grab that chest over there quickly as well, and then we'll continue. So I'm guessing we're going to have to release the Allori. That's what we're going to actually have to do. We're going to have to convince the Allori from come out to come out from underground, which you know they're not going to want to do after the way humans have treated them. And we're going to have to agree that they're uh, good guys and convince all of the humans that have hated them since God knows how long. Yeah, great. I'm sure that'll be easy. Penasod made them to be a, a safety valve. They were never stealing our magic. They were trying to filter it. The corruption magic creates an avium. The Alori would have prevented it by sending it back here. There would have never been a wound. Hmm. We didn't even give them a chance. All we saw was that they drained magic, so we killed as many of them as we could as soon as we met them and drove the rest away. Well, you say we, Jack, but I don't think you killed any. You did stun a few of them, but you didn't kill any. Sandrak, I've got to stop him. We can put all this back together. Is there baddies around here? Because the music just suddenly went epic. Oh God, here we go. Here we go, got some Ratchet and Clank going on once again. Man, I love Ratchet and Clank. I do hope uh, Insomniac continue working with uh, Ratchet and Clank. Especially now they've got Spider-Man and Wolverine on the go. But apparently they've got a third game in development as well. I don't know if it's like a, I think they're supposed to have a, a multiplayer game in development. Because a lot of the job listings that they've mentioned are more leaning towards somebody that you need for a multiplayer game. But I couldn't think of what a multiplayer game would be from Insomniac. Also, I'm surprised they ain't worked on PSVR too, considering they were making VR games before, for like Oculus or whatever, before VR bought them out. So, yeah, I don't know, should have someone on the VR, should have a VR team over there. Imagine Spider-Man, a fully fledged Spider-Man VR too. That'd sell big numbers of VR. 
Honestly, if you haven't tried VR2, I recommend it. If you can try it, you'll love it and you'd want to buy it. The only thing that would be a limiting factor would Jack, be... Jack, it weakens before me. Together we can finish it. No, don't fight it at all. Listen, the Penisod showed me how to... Resist its illusions. It will show you anything it needs to survive. Don't be a coward, boy. A coward, you bastard. But the only thing that would be a limiting, a limiting factor when it comes to uh, VR would be if you can afford it or not. But if you can afford it, I strongly recommend it. Number two is brilliant. First one was not very good, but one, two is great. <laughs> God. Roger, will you listen to me? Stop attacking it. You came here to help me. I came here to help you fix the wound. God damn it! You're going to get everyone killed, asshole. <laughs> Really have teeth, Ted. Damn. Don't start calling him Ted, it's Thaddeus. Oh, shit. Oh, it's putting us in the area of uh, the Alori, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Yowch. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, I'm good. Wh where am I? Smells like you just fell out of the shrouded realm. Alarming twist. The Pentasod sent me here. Whatever it's selling, I ain't buying. <clears throat> Hold on, Rook. Hear me out. No. That thing can go fuck itself. It tricked us. Told us Avium would be one big ball of paradise. Now get out of here before- Before you eat me. I know, I know. Just stop and listen. Ah! The mouth on you. Somewhere along the way you forgot I ain't human, Jack. Big cantankerous rook. We go way back. The vast big gulf of hate between us is all gone. He sees me as one of the good ones. Newsflash, pissant! You got... you got good reason to hate me. To hate all of us. <laughs> we deserve it. For what we did. That's on us, though. Not the Pentasod. It needs your help. It's for you. Jack, can you hear me? Mind link's on the fritz. This don't seem much better. I'm kinda busy right now. You gotta get to Glavegate, pronto. Going to the Shrouded Realm was only Sandrak's first plan to kill the Pentasod, but he had a backup. If that didn't work, he'd use the Binding Stone to pull the Pentasod into our world. It'll be weaker here. He can do that? Yeah, according to my scry stones, he is doing it. Right now. Worst part? Kirkin's still all in on it. Telling everyone here they need to settle up with Sandrak and join the fight. You've got to stop her, Thaddeus. Tell her I have another way to fix this. Sure. Like she gonna listen to me. I already tried. Try harder. If the Penisot dies, that's it. We're done. It's all done. I'm on my way. I'm bringing the Alori. Lied straight to the man's face, kid. Didn't even blink. Your glory will never know rest. Oh, it showed you that. To what? Tug at my conscience? <laughs> no. To make sure I'd see that the only person that can save us all is you. Please, come to Glavegate. Oh, we love you, Rook. I mean, I loved you before I knew all that anyway. You're hilarious. <laughs> oh, he shut the door on me. All right. Well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Morvet. So, thanks for watching, Wolf Morvet. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. It was a, a very eventful one. Like, share, and join the pack tonight.